New England is a very old area. And old areas have a lot of history. But some of that history isn't good history. History. There's a road in current day Andover, Massachusetts that has some of this not so great history. We're gonna go there tonight. The Spooky Spaces team will give you an inside look at one of the creepiest, spookiest roads in Massachusetts. Tonight, join us as we travel to Albino Road in North Andover, Massachusetts, a place of death and hauntings. Right now on Spooky Spaces. Like any good explorers, we have to prepare. Let's go back to the situation area and pack our things. We're almost ready to get going to Albino Road. We have our flashlights, we have our balls, we have our crucifix. So let's get in that car and go, baby. We've just arrived at Albino Road. It's dark, it's dreary. So the legend of this place goes, Back in the late 1600s, two albino children were born. They were twins. Back then, the Salem witch trials were happening, but the hysteria was all over this area. You know, a lot of people actually got accused um, from the town of Andover, which is where we were at. So the parents knew this, so they hid the kids away until they were teenagers. They just hid them in the house. They kept them, kept them out of sight, out of mind. One day, a friendly townsman uh, came unexpected and unannounced to their house. He looked through their window and he saw the twins. Immediately, he ran to the town elders who ordered the twins to be snatched up and investigated. Well, at the end of the day, they ended up tying stones to the twins' feet and throwing them in a nearby lake, drowning them. After they were done with the twins, they came back to the house and they burnt it down with the twins' mom and dad in the house. They all died. Some reports come out of here of strange happenings, hauntings, bad things. They say you can see red eyes looking at you deep from in the woods. They say you can hear children running in the forest. They say you can see full body apparitions of people walking around and stalking these woods. Now most of the time these legends have no background or meaning to them, but there is a house foundation deep in the woods. And right now, we're gonna go find it. So join us right now. So this photo was taken a while back by one of our friends who also visited Albino Road. And as you can see, it appears to show something in the woods, an outline or a shadow of a person uh, looking back at the camera. Uh, it's pretty unmistakable. There's definitely something there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty spooky. live dangerously. So, we're keeping a lookout for uh, any dark shadows moving, any red eyes looking at us from the forest. It definitely is pretty ominous here. Now this one, this road, it's uh, technically still a road, but uh, it's not in use anymore by the town. It's just kind of dirt, um, but it was it was a road, and there were used to be houses on it, um, including the one that we're trying to find right now. Hopefully, we can. Go. What the fuck is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> What is a compressor or something? It looks like it. An old Where the compressor? hell's the hell here? It actually doesn't actually look that old. I mean, it's old, but it's like, it looks like it could still work. Huh. You know. Look at how, like, how, like, the little light from all the way down there. 
It's like where we came from. So another uh, weird report from this from this place. Another weird report from this place is that um, people see headlights from phantom cars coming up and down this road. And this this road is blocked off. There's a huge iron gate uh, up at the road, so cars can't get down here unless you know someone has the proper authority to open the gate. Um, and that's weird. But one of our friends actually says he saw those lights. Um, a while back, so there's some there's some credibility behind it, but so hopefully we'll see some. You never know. So we've just turned onto the road that we think this foundation is on. Uh, we're still we're still going off of a uh, just like some hearsay, you know. We don't we don't actually know if it's there, but if it is there, we're gonna feel pretty damn good about ourselves finding it. Uh, we're pretty much surrounded by swamp. Uh, this place is pretty much like impassable in the summertime, unless you like, you wear your muck boots, uh, cause it's like usually wet and sloshy, but uh, yeah, we're hopefully approaching the foundation as we speak. Okay, well we're uh, we're in the woods approximately where we think the foundation of the house is. So I wanted to come back and uh, voice this over and explain that the house foundation actually isn't a fact. Like, no one's really sure if it exists. Uh, it's just information that's been passed around by people like us who have come and visited the road. Um, supposedly people have found it in the past and pe supposedly it's there, but there's no actual pictures of it uh, online or anything. Um, so unfortunately we weren't able to find it. Uh, we did look for, for quite some time, uh, but we decided at this point, since we know we're already in the woods around where this supposedly is, we're gonna try to communicate with these uh, albino kids using some ghost hunting shit that we brought um, and see if there's actually any truth behind these hauntings. Okay, so that little device right there next to the tree is an EMF detector. It measures electromagnetic frequencies in the air. Um, and many people think you can use that to communicate with spirits. Uh, that's that uh, solid green light right there means it's at the base of uh, what it's reading So I'll take my light away. You can see the green light um, We're gonna try to talk to these albino kids and hopefully we can get something um, We're gonna try to talk to these albino kids and hopefully to these albino kids, and hopefully... So let's see, so we'll back up a little bit. We'll back up until we can't see the light. All right, there's the light, we're backing up. Back up. Okay. Okay. So there's the light, you can see it. Turn off my light. So let's just try to talk. Okay, if there's anybody here with us, uh, hello, we mean no harm, we just wanted to communicate and talk. So you'll notice over by the base of this tree there's a little green light. If you walk towards the green light, it will light up even further. So can you please try to walk up to that green light? and see if you can make it light up. Or just anything. Make a noise, whatever you want to do. Just go towards that green light. We sat there for about 10 more minutes uh, asking questions and uh, unfortunately nothing happened. So we decided to try something else. Well, I had a shadow grid which uh, projects a grid of lasers onto a uh, background, but uh, it's not working, which is weird because it was it was working when I packed it to come out here. So uh, I don't know what's up with that. 
Something else strange about this is that once we got back from the road, this device immediately started working again. Did it have something to do with the cold in the batteries, or is there something else going on? Okay, so this is Spirit Box. Uh, basically, the theory is that it emits this white noise, and uh, spirits can talk through that white noise. So we're gonna give it a try. Uh, if anybody's here with us, if anybody's here with us, can you uh, come and talk with us right now? Just be loud and clear. Hopefully we'll be able to hear you. So, are you one of the albino children that was killed? Sounds like something. Something's trying to come through. Are you the family or the parents? of the albino children that were killed. So we stayed out there using the spirit box for about 15 or 20 more minutes and nothing happened with the EMF or the spirit box or anything. Um, what at first we believed to be voices coming through, uh, we concluded later that it was just radio frequencies being picked up by the device. Uh, the white noise that you hear being emitted is actually just uh, the machine scanning radio frequencies, creating that white noise. So if it were actually voices, uh, the sounds would uh, continue over, uh, over a few seconds rather than just one quick sweep. Um, so yeah, it was about 20 degrees, uh, we were getting pretty cold, and we'd had, we'd been out there for about two hours, um, and nothing had been happening, so, uh, we decided to wrap it up pretty quick after that. Last chance, we're leaving soon. Your voice can be heard. Unfortunately, I think those small little sounds coming through are just uh, radio frequencies. Uh, if, it, if it was something trying to talk to us, it'd be over multiple little sweeps. So, uh, okay, well, if you are here and you're just not talking, thank you for allowing us to be here. Au revoir. It's like, like Blair Witch. Um, so we just finished up. We were, we were looking for uh, ghosts albino kids uh we think we're, we didn't find the house foundation unfortunately it, if it even exists um and we did a little we tried communicating with them a little ghost stuff but uh unfortunately we didn't come up with anything uh it is kind of weird it's like you got a, you got a weird feeling being out here because it's like in the middle of the woods and you shine your flashlight and you're just waiting for like something to be looking back at you from the woods but uh so far it hasn't felt any we haven't felt anything strange we haven't seen or heard anything strange we did hear some stuff over by this little pond, but we think it was beavers. Uh, you, you never know. Uh, but yeah, so we're heading back to the car now. There's a huge, huge uh, fog right there. You gotta find a fucking one steps here. This is where we heard something kind of weird, but uh, we, we figured it was just beavers. I don't know if beavers are out this time of year. Do beavers hibernate? I don't know. Do beavers hibernate? Um, I don't know. Jesus, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, well, what, 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 did, what did we hear out on the pond? Cause there was something moving around. I don't know what. I don't know if it was the albino kids. I don't know if they, they'd be out swimming at this time of night. Yeah. Well, we just got back in the car after uh, exploring Albino Road. Unfortunately, we didn't see any albinos. 
We didn't find the house foundation. Nothing happened to us. Some will call us failures, but I say that's not true. We trudged out there, stuck to our guns. It's like 20 degrees, we're cold as shit. Uh, we're better than Nat National Geographic, don't ever forget that. Um, but hey, didn't happen to us this time, maybe next time. A lot of people say legends are true. Are they true? We'll never know. Come out here yourself, see if, uh, see if something happens. But uh, until then, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for tuning into this episode of Spooky Spaces. Uh, and uh, shalom, au revoir, have a nice day and a pleasant tomorrow.